Recently, Paul, over at the YouTube channel Diecast Graveyard, announced that he was going to have a build-off for his Patreon subscribers. Well, I happen to be one of those Patreon subscribers, so I thought, oh, I think I'll join in on this. So I uh, have this Fiat 500C Hot Wheels casting. I, I found out that I have a second one, too. It comes in handy later, but I had this one, and I thought, well, I want to do something to this. So there's the casting. I've already drilled it out at this point. It has a metal base and a metal body, and then it has a whole bunch of plastic crap stuck to it. <laughs> the engine, the exhaust, and the windshield are one piece. And then the uh, big spoiler and the roll cage are another piece. Well, I'm getting rid of that roll cage chunk. And, yep, it's JB Weld time. I got out the tape. I uh, wanted to fill in the roof was the first thing. I wanted to have this thing have a smooth top to it. I guess for a lack of a better way of putting it, I wanted it to have a more classic look. If that's the right term, you'll you'll decide on that later. <laughs> but uh, I thought I wanted to completely fill it. I considered very briefly giving it a back window. And then I thought, no, I'm just sealing that off. I'm going to have it all be smooth. So uh, maybe you'll see me fill this stuff in. It's just good old JB Weld. And you'll see where this ends up. Ended up letting it sit for uh, pretty much 24 hours. Got back to it the next night, and there you can see how it sets up. That's after I peeled the tape off, and uh, I really like how that works. Hit, uh, obviously, it wasn't perfect, so then I threw some uh, Bondo glazing and spot putty on it, and then just proceeded to sand the heck out of it.
This also had quite a few casting lines I had to work on. So there was uh, quite a bit of filing involved. Uh, went over it with the scotch Bright pad as well. And you know, you think you have it looking good. <laughs> but then you hit it with primer, or in this case with the Dupli-Color Metal Cast base coat. And I've done it at this point, and what it revealed is I had a lot more work to do on the back. I, I just didn't like how it was turning out. It was it was relatively smooth, but there were still some areas that needed work, and, and the primer really revealed that. So after I worked that out, I hit it again with the Duplicolor base coat, and at that point I'm pretty happy. And this is something I've done on other castings, but... I'm going to put Duplicolor paint, uh, the metal cast paint, on this when I'm finished. But what I like to do is if there's areas that are black, I like to paint them ahead of actually doing the red. Well, I let the cat out of the bag. This one's going to be red. Um, but before I put the red on here, I like to paint the black, in this case on the grill, with the Citadel paint. And that, that was all I ended up doing on this one. On others, I've done some other things like, you know, an entire roof or, you know, stripes down the side or whatever. And then when you throw that metal cast, it, it's basically a red clear coat or the, the metal cast colors are, are like a clear coating. There you can see it. And I like the effect of that over the black because you, you can kind of in a weird way see that red cast to it in the right light. So at this point it just has the metal cast paint on it. Uh, I haven't clear coated it at this point. I'm putting on some of the details. I used the uh, Sharpie silver pen to do that. And off camera I actually hit it with the Tamiya clear red. But that basically takes care of the body itself. And it's at this point I realized that I had this other casting. You notice this one has a chrome engine, chrome windshield. And I thought, well, the other one had a black one and I could try chroming that. Or I could try protecting the chrome on some areas on this one. And that's what I'm doing here with the liquid mask. I'm covering the areas that I want to remain chrome because once I have them protected, I'm gonna throw this in super clean to have it strip off the chrome in the other areas. Basically, everything except the engine and the exhaust. Once the chrome gets stripped off the other areas, those areas are black. One thing to add is after the chrome is stripped off the other areas and I peel this mask off, I do go over the chrome in some areas with the Molotow chrome pin. And to be honest, I'm, I'm hoping the chrome <laughs> survives the trip uh, to Paul's. This car is being shipped to him as part of this build. Whoever wins the build off is going to get all of the cars involved in the build off. And as I recall, they're also going to win a car that uh, Paul builds himself. The Beatles were kind enough to donate the real riders off their van to this build. <laughs> I thank them for their generosity. Uh, as I mentioned, the chrome that got stripped off, one of the areas was the windshield, which is now black. It is not a clear windshield on this. But I wanted it to be shiny. I couldn't really dip this chunk in gauzy. Yes, gauzy! <laughs> and, uh, so I had to figure out what I was going to do. So I just brushed gauzy on. I just put a light coat of it on there, just as if I had dipped it. It's it still got a nice protective shiny coating on there. So this was uh, 
something that I tried. I wasn't sure that it was going to work, and it worked out better than, uh, than I hoped. It actually turned out pretty well. So uh, for those of you playing the Gauzy game, I have mentioned it in this, and it has made an appearance. I did detail some of the uh, interior there, too. I, I, you'll notice that windshield part has the gauges and the steering wheel on the other side of it, so I did hit those with silver, but nothing fancy. You can't really see the interior on this casting that well. I did polish up the base with flits. I didn't want to paint it black or anything, so uh, all I really did on this part is detail the parachute on the back with Citadel Mornfang Brown paint. I masked that off before I started polishing, just because I didn't want to be painting over polish. So everything else except for the, <laughs> and I, I don't know if it might have slipped into one of the earlier shots, but I masked off the chute on the back and where the axles, where I'm going to hit those axles with super glue when I put them in, just to make sure none of the polish got into those areas. After polishing, I did clean this casting, the base, um, with IP, uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, and here are the wheels. There's the ones that were stripped off the Beatles van. The front wheels worked perfectly. They just basically were drop-in replacements. On the back ones, the axle wasn't wide enough. So I ended up cutting the tip off of another axle. And I didn't want to make axle tubes on this or anything, so I just slid that longer axle through. Took a little super glue, and I've had I've mentioned before those little fittings that you see over there on the right. They're just basically tiny little for lack of a better way of putting it, tube. There's some kind of jewelry fitting. I forget off the top of my head what they're called again, but they're little crimps. Apparently there's a tool that you can use to actually crimp them without breaking them. I don't have that tool. <laughs> when I've tried pliers and just pressing them all different kinds of ways, it hasn't worked. But using CA glue on them, and that was the accelerator I put on it there, that works well. Yeah, that It's not going to go anywhere. You'd have to beat the hell out, out of the end of that to get it to go. So th there you see the axle in place now, and I'm just using a CA glue because I had to pry the prongs open to get the other axle out. Drop this one in, hit it with the CA glue, hit it with the accelerant, and we're ready to rock. Did the same thing with the front axle, as you'll see here in a, in a second, too. And it, what you see me doing is just that when you see me put the accelerant, all I've done is that there's the spray cap, you know, the spray top to the accelerant. I just unscrew it and you know, use the other end of it, let it drip onto there. You know, it's not the, the prettiest way to do it, but it may be the cheapest way. <laughs> Lord knows I'm nothing if not cheap. So if it works... That's all I can ask for. So obviously it's rolling really well. That's what I wanted. And again, nothing fancy with the base. I just polished it up like I mentioned earlier. Once I had done the metal cast red paint and had the few details on it that I was doing, I did hit it with the Minwax Fast Drying poly, uh, Polyurethane Clear. Did a little bit of detail on the engine. And like I mentioned before, I did go over some of the chrome on that as well with the Molotow pin. So let's throw this thing together. Throw it together. We'll let you take a look at it, then box it up and send it off to Paul. I'd like to take this moment to thank Paul for having this build off for his Patreon subscribers. Paul has an excellent channel. I, I, please check it out. I will put a link to it down below this video in the description, but I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're subscribing to me, I'm pretty darn sure you're subscribing to Paul. So uh, if a few of you have somehow missed it, go check them out. <laughs> so there's where we started. 
there's just a lot of crap on that thing. <laughs> Here's where we finished. And uh, I am glad I kept the back closed off. I, I'm sure there's going to be some kind of comments about it, but you need to see out the back. Why? <laughs> If I'm rolling along in this thing, I don't want to know if anything's coming up behind me. It better not be. And if it is, I'm probably going to try and outrun it anyway. So uh, I, I hope I do well in the build-off. You know, keep your fingers crossed. And be sure and check out uh, all the other builders. Paul will be doing a video of the build-off. And so uh, be sure and check that out. You know, go to his channel, check that out. Uh, uh, it will be coming up here in the not-too-distant future. I, I believe the cutoff date for the builds is the middle of September. And so it'll be sometime after that. So I hope you like this build. It uh, It's a mean-looking little thing, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.